Hi, this is Kazan Clark with Fun Stampers Journey, coach number 35. Today we're going to explore three different ways to use liquid color, starting right off with a liquid color, watercolor background. This technique using Fun Stampers Journey liquid color requires cling wrap or saran wrap, just the regular sandwich wrap, as well as obviously Fun Stampers Journey liquid colors. Today I'm using... Uh, Catalina Splash, Lovely Blue and Lavender Fusion and I'm working on my Fun Stampers Journey self-healing cutting mat because it has these lovely guidelines and one of my panels is a three and a half by five inch white panel which I'm using regular whipped cream cardstock and the reason for this is I'm going to concentrate laying my color in this area and that'll tell me how far my colors are actually being distributed. So I've got my cling wrap down. I'm just kind of creasing those areas in a little bit just to add some interest. And the look we're going for here is a fabulous watercolor effect. And this is why liquid colors is perfect for that. So I'm gonna start off with just one or two little dabs in my area over here of the Catalina Splash. Don't worry about getting too much on there. The focus of my colors I like to use a little bit of the lighter color more of than the darker colors just because it gives a softer watercolor effect. So I'm gonna pop some of this. This is that lovely blue. It's a beautiful lighter shade of blue which really softens the effect and creates that really lovely watercolor effect. And I'm gonna drop in a hint of the lavender fusion. This is just going to give me a slight little touch of purple and these colors are so beautiful for um, the holidays it reminds me of snow and just gorgeous freshness and that's why i'm using this color palette today so i'm just going to lay my cut panel right over like that and you can see how that color is starting to seep through and I like to wrap it up in the cling wrap just so that I can really work that liquid color. Oh, look at that, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? Like that. Here we go. So we can already see how it's created this lovely watercolor effect background with minimal effort. I love, love, love that look. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this one aside to dry. And since I'm on a roll, I might as well do a few more. So every card that you make using this technique, it's gonna be slightly different. So this technique is perfect for holiday cards because you can literally whip out the most stunning backgrounds in seconds. So cleanup is a snap. Literally wrap this up toss it in the bin. I'm gonna let these two dry. I like to wrap them up in some paper towel between a, a hard book and go ahead and start the rest of my project. I'll see you guys back in a bit. This is my card that I created with that lovely watercolor background technique which I created with liquid colors and the cling wrap. I used all Fun Stampers Journey products and I really love this darling little deer such a sweet little thing. And of course, the lovely embossing folder. And I will have links to um, all these products up on my blog, which you can follow in the link down below. So that is that card. Super, super cute. All right, my next technique using Fun Stampers Journey liquid colors is the baby wipe stamping technique. And for that, I'm using regular baby wipes. I just get these on clearance at whichever grocery store I'm shopping at. And I'm just gonna lay a couple of these sheets in my little tray. And this is going to serve as my ink pad. So today's colors that I'm using are banana cream, orange creamsicle, and candy apple. My card that I'm going to be creating is a fall themed card. So these are lovely fall colors. I'm starting off with my candy apple, just a couple of little drops like that. 
and I'm going to follow that up with some banana cream. It's going to look like a hot mess, but the colors are going to create a beautiful mottled effect. So there's the banana cream, and then finally that orange creamsicle. Don't worry about overlapping the colors. What you're looking for is a really saturated area so that you don't have too many white spots on your stamp. Now the trick with stamping using the baby wipe technique is to use a stamp set that has solid images like this. And that area, that entire area is going to be stamped. And this particular stamp set is called Skeleton Leaf. This is the base. It's a layered stamping um, set. And the larger one has those three that can be layered on top. And the smaller one, obviously, the middle three. So let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to be fussy cutting these to create my card. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp these on regular whipped cream cardstock to... To create my leaves and then I will fussy cut them out a little bit later. So I have my solid image on my stamp block and I'm just going to gently press that into the ink that's on my baby wipe and go ahead and stamp my first image. Wow, look at that, beautiful. Let's turn the stamp a little bit and maybe grab some ink of this area over here and this one oh I love 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 how pretty that is and then finally let's do one more over there like that gorgeous now I can go in with those detailed stamps that I was showing you earlier on and create that inside detail and I'm just going to use regular black licorice ink. I'm just going to go ahead and stamp those down like that. This is that first little design. So pretty. Oh gosh, isn't that gorgeous? And let's try the other one with the little veins. Lovely. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the other three, assemble my card, and I'll be right back with the finished product. Here is my final product using the leaves from that baby wipe technique. I do have a little bit of shimmer on this card, which I used our lovely gold silk for, and I brushed some of that on the leaves as well. And you can see that lovely rich color that I created with the leaves by using my ink and those baby wipes. So all the product details for this are available on my blog too. For this card, I'm going to be using liquid color, but I'm going to actually paint with liquid color. And I'm using banana cream, riverstone, rich coral, and some orange creamsicle my images twice and I'm using the images from the lovely little ghost treat stamp set. I've got my little pumpkin witches over here and I've got a clear sheet of acetate that I'm going to use as my palette. I'm going to be using our blending brushes and these are Fun Stampers Journey large blending brush as well as the small blending brush and the beauty about these is that you can um, fill these with water and it's going to create a super watercolored effect or you can just dip the bristles in some water to slightly dampen them and so for this particular image I'm coloring in quite a few details I'm not going to fill this with water I'm looking for a more rich saturated effect with my large blending brush I'm going to pick up my base color which is the lightest color and that is the banana cream and with just swift light brush strokes I'm going to fill in the whole entire little pumpkin body with banana cream liquid color. Now that I've got my entire surface colored with this base color 
the application doesn't have to be too saturated, not too much pigment on your brush. You'll notice that there isn't really anything seeping through on the back because I'm going to be adding quite a few layers. I don't want to oversaturate the, um, the paper. So next up, I'm going to grab some of that orange creamsicle. It's a slightly darker color and I'm going to go in there just in those little nooks and crannies where I almost have a little bit of a shadow effect to create a more rounded look to my pumpkin. I'm going for a little bit more of a realistic look, not quite so flat and pop art. Notice my brush strokes are short and swift and once again I'm not oversaturating my paper. The next color I'm going to come in with is that gray river stone. This is going to create a little bit of a shadow effect so I'm really going to concentrate on only adding this color where there are deep little crevices on my little stamp images. I've given myself a hint of the banana cream and the orange creamsicle on my little test piece over here because I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to like the rich coral straight on my image. So what I like to do is just try out on my little test piece to see if I'm going to like the effect or not. Now remember, when you're first applying the liquid color, it is going to be darker and then dry slightly lighter. So I'm gonna give this a few seconds to see if I like the rich color, the rich red coral on top of my orange. Okay, I've, I've left this for about 20 seconds to dry and I'm thinking that that rich red is still too bright for the look that I'm going for. I'm going for a more vintage style look. So I'm going to tone down this rich coral with some of my banana cream. I'm just simply mixing the colors together and this is giving me a deeper, deeper orange, quite a lot deeper than that orange creamsicle. So let me go ahead and apply that. And I think I really like that look more than the rich coral. And so I'm still in shadow mode over here. So still trying to create that really three dimensional or rounded look on my pumpkin where the highlights of the pumpkin, the roundest part of the pumpkin are lighter, as we can see with that color over there. And then as we get into those nooks and crannies, we're creating deeper, shadower, shadowy effects. Shadow, I don't think shadow is a word. Shadowy effects. Going back and giving some of those shadowy areas a second coat once it's dried, is definitely going to darken those areas up. So you can see on that little hat area that I have a little second layer on the sides over here and in the middle, and then there's a little bit of light gray. That was my first coat. The eyes have a second coat and so does her little arms. I'm gonna go in and give her little mouth a second coat. Just darken up those areas. And this separates those deep dark areas from the shadow areas quite nicely. Here is my beautiful little colored pumpkin all dressed up as a witch for trick-or-treating with her little treat bag. I've got it attached to a tag with lovely embellishments, beautiful ribbon and of course delicious little treats ready to be given out at Halloween. Thanks so much for joining me everybody. Please feel free to leave a comment below. I love your feedback. You can also reach me at kazanclark at gmail.com on my website at kazanclark.com or on my Fun Stampers Journey website, funstampersjourney.com slash kazan. Have a great day.